everybody, I'm Jason Abelson. It is Friday and it's time for another edition of Bold Predictions here on BoxCast. We've got four big fights we're going to get to. I've got to get three of them right. No, you know what? You know what? I've got to get all four of them right or there will be dire, dire consequences come Monday. We're going to start things off in Oberhausen, Germany. Yes, yes, Oberhausen. Site of many big battles over the years. Saturdays, maybe not as big. The WBA, though, deemed it a world heavyweight championship fight. Of course, vaunted champions, Alexander Ustinov taking on Manuel Char. Ooh, what a titanic battle. The WBA must be proud having one of these two men as their heavyweight champion. Well, how do you break this one down? You got a big lummox in Ustinov against the guy with kind of a glass jaw in Char. I like Char's mobility, but he gives away a lot of size against Ustinov. This is a tough one to call. But you know what? I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to say Manuel Char. Because while Ustinov is strong, I don't think his power is really palpable. I think it's really a byproduct of his size. I think Char is good enough and mobile enough to avoid that power. I like Manuel Char in an upset to be oh, the WBA champion. Next, we go to Madison Square Garden in New York City. Actually, this small room at MSG. It's going to be a triple header on HBO. In the first fight, Jason Sosa will be taking on Yuri Orcus Gamboa. Now, Gamboa used to be the killer that ruled boxing around 126 and 130 pounds. He's not that guy anymore. He's a lot slower, doesn't quite have the same pop. He's still fairly cunning in the ring, gives a lot of angles, but he gets hit just as much and doesn't have those intangibles he used to that made him so dominant because of that. I like Sosa. He's a hardworking guy, industrious. I think he'll be able to close the gap against Gamboa. He's going to let his hands go. I think he's going to connect. I think he's going to be the type of guy, that relentless pressure, that will wear down Gamboa over the course of the fight. And I like Sosa via late round stoppage in what would be a mild upset at the Garden. Up next, Sullivan Barrera, one of the best light heavyweights in the world and a man who you would think would get a crack at one of the three vacant titles at that weight. Apparently, though, not quite. He's got to face Felix Valera. Valera, a very good fighter, but really, Barrera should be the type of guy that beats Valera. I think there is a class uh, gap between the two, and Barrera has more than shown his worth at light heavyweight, of course, he stopped Joe Smith Jr. He stopped Vlacheslav Shabransky, who'll be facing Kovalev later on in the night. So I do like Sullivan Barrera. I like him via, 11th, uh, via late round stoppage in what should be an entertaining fight, a good test, but really not an overwhelming challenge for Barrera. And in our main event, and it's a battle for the vacant WBO light heavyweight championship of the world between former champion Sergei Krasher Kovalev and Vlacheslav Shabransky, a mensch too. Yes, they're battling out for the vacant title vacated by Andre Ward. Of course, Kovalev wants it back around his waist. And he's got a foe in Shabransky who's pretty dangerous. A lot of knockout wins. Of course, Shabransky was stopped previously by Sullivan Barrera in a good bout. But in this case, I kind of like the overall boxing skills of Kovalev. I do think Shabransky could hurt him, but Shabransky's got to be able to get to the inside and it took a guy like Ward to be able to do that. I don't think Shabransky has quite got Ward's skill set. At the end of the day, I like Sergey Kovalev between around a ninth or 10th round stoppage to once again be the WBO light heavyweight champion of the world. So guys, what do you think? Was I on point or on crack, way off or on the money? I'd love your feedback. Leave your predictions in the comments section. And if you like what we had to say, please spread the word about us to your boxing friends. Let them know that the best place for predictions, wise cracks, observations, previews, anything when it comes to sweet science can be found right here at BoxCaster. Enjoy the fights, guys.